Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to make a Fox ceramic crackle pendant. Just to let you know that I already recorded this part. Um, for some reason it got deleted from my camera. So I'm going to show you how, um, how I crackle this, um, this clay. This is the first step I'm going to do. But first I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to use the white Primo. Um, I rolled this out on my uh, third stick I said on my pasta machine, which is a number two. And zero is my thick setting. I'm using the um, um, alcohol links. This is the alcohol pearls by Ranger. I'm using the color Alchemy. I don't know how to pronounce that? Um, I'm going to use Envy and Deception. Also, I'm going to use chalk pastels. This is a the 20 uh, artistic palette has 24 colors, and you're gonna need a heat gun because we're gonna crackle this um, clay with a heat gun. So the first step is to get my heat gun. I'm using this Black and Decker. And it has two settings. I'm gonna use the the high set, the highest setting. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn this on, and I'm gonna go over the clay for about 15 seconds. And this is gonna be a little loud. tell when it's um, baked because it's um, it's matte underneath it's going to be um, still shining because it's not baked so I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to roll it through the pasta machine from this end to this end and I'm going to roll it on a number two which is my third thicker setting on my pasta machine. And you can see how it started to crackle. And then I'm going to roll it again from this side to this side, from this end to this end. So, set it on the tile and then I grab my roller and then just roll it to flatten it out a little bit. And you can see there's like small crackles right here and then the big ones in the middle. And this is how I crackle um, the clay. And on the second video, it's actually showing you um, what I'm going to do with this, with this, um, with this clay. Um, and yeah, this is how I'm going to do it. And I also going to use a stamp. Uh, it's a flower stamp. Hold on one second. forgot to show you this stamp. Um, I'm going to use a flower stamp and this is what I was going to do. Um, on the second video I'm going to show you how to stamp it. 
and put it in, in the on the clay, stamp it on the clay. And um, you can use any stamps. Um, this is the one that has the holes, and then when you stamp it, it's going to be a raised part. Um, so it, it works better. But there's other ones. Um, this this one. This will be it's a little bit small. But yeah, this is the one that I'm gonna use. So I will see you in the next um, the next video, which is gonna uh, I'm gonna show you what to do with this. See you in a little bit. Okay, so I rolled out uh, another uh, piece of pr uh, white Primo. So I'm gonna put it underneath this crackle thing, so it makes it like thicker. But and then I'm going to give her some texture and this is a, um, a texture sponge that I had. Okay, so I'm going to place this, I'm going to pick this up and then flip her around. And I place this on top. Wait. It don't matter. There's some extra because we're gonna work in the middle, so it's not even, but it's fine. Close to it. All right. So now we're gonna grab our stamp. This is a flower stamp, and then we're gonna place it here on our clay. And then we're just gonna. Sorry if my head's on the shot. I just have to see what I'm doing. Stamp it. All right, that's good. Now I'm going to use cutter. This is the Ateco seven piece full book cutter. this oh well that show up over there in the middle close to the middle because I want some of this to show on the necklace okay press down lift this up okay for the first step we're gonna use the chalk pastels this ones don't have like names on the colors um, looking for my brush I'm gonna use this small brush and I'm going to use um, this red color right here Look it out of here. And then just kind of brush it on the petals. Just get a blade and
and just go all over all over the petals. Make sure you go over so you get the color and the crackles. Okay. And you can clean your brush with the wipes. Uh, the next color is going to be, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do the, the yellow first, this one right here. And we're going to do it like in the right here in the center. You don't need much. Now the next one is um, this orange right here. And then we're gonna um, paint it like in the in the inside. All right, so now the next color it's going to be um, green. And I'm going to use this light green right here. And use my fingers. Also use this um, brown color. It's like a dark, like a reddish. I just use a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to use the alcohol inks. I'm going to start with this um, Deception. Make sure you shake it. Place a little bit on your um, brush. And 
can do is go over the petals. The next color, I'm gonna do the yellow. Let me shake it. This is Alchemy, Alchemy, I don't know. Just do it in the top. I'm sorry, in the middle here. And the last one is, well, not the last one, Splendor. between the petals. And then we're gonna do the green on the outside. Uh, let me just get a little bit more of that green in there. For the chalk pastel. All right, now this is the color Envy. Let me clean my hands. I got chalk rust all over my hands. And just go and lightly brush it. Make sure you cover all the areas, like the white areas. And I'm going to bake this for 30 minutes, 275 Primo recommended temperature. Well, matter of fact, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm going to do it for one hour because I already have the back. I don't have to put another backing. So I'm going to do for one full hour. And I'll be back to show you. Hold on, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow in the middle, just a little tiny, like right here. So it's just a little bit brighter. And make sure when you put it in the oven, cover this um, with a bowl and put a um, on a tile on a, on top of a printing paper so you don't get a shiny spot. And I'll be back when it's done. Hey guys, I'm back. So here's our um, bead out of the oven. I'm going to show you. Uh, how it looks with after it was baked with the alcohol inks and the chalk pastels 
it definitely gave gave it like a glossy look different because the alcohol inks are the ones uh, the pearl ones um, I really like it you know how it came out the colors so now I'm gonna get I'm getting ready to resin this just put it back over here Okay, so for this step, I'm going to use on one part resin. I always use it on all my videos. It's the Ultra Dome UV Epoxy. You're gonna need a UV light, um, a lighter for the bubbles, and a toothpick, and a um, silicone mat to drag the resin. So, what I'm gonna have to do is, since this is not like a flat surface, I'm gonna have to resin, put the resin starting in the middle and do two layers because it's not like a flat surface. So um, we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to start putting a little bit. Or, and just go in, in the middle. And you start with less because if you put too much, and then it will start getting, it will be really messy. And then with the toothpick, just drag it, drag the resin. Just drag it in between the spaces right here. Be careful not to, when you're doing the edges, you don't want to start spilling this. Do you have guys have any tips on like getting, I know that their bubbles come up to the surface but I usually like do the resin and then I'll wait a little bit and I wait for the bubbles to come to the surface and then I'll hit it with the light and then I wait another two minutes and then I'm like, okay, well, there's nothing. Put it on the UV light. When I take it out, there's one bubble there. I'm like, it was not there before. So I don't know what else to do. I don't know if this the resin like I see one right here and I'm like what is going on like it wasn't there before so I don't know it's I don't know what else to do um, I, I really like this UV resin one part I mean it's ready in 15 minutes but um these bubbles are just really I don't know what else to do. If anybody knows any tips, I really appreciate it because it's getting frustrating. It just ruined my pieces and stuff. Um, yeah, so. Um, so I'm going to, let's see if I can make sure this is completely coated in the metal. Even when I pour this out of the bottle, there's some bubbles coming out. And I was thinking about buying that um, Chinese brand from Amazon, but I don't know. I heard like it has like a really bad smell. Um, I don't know anything about it. The only one that I bought so far is this one, Ultra Dome, and it's pretty good. Mm, but. Maybe I need to try something different. And of course you can use the two part resin, but that one you have to mix equal parts. Wait, mix it really good, and then you pour in and you have to wait 
like a day or so. So if you want something to be done right away, you you can't use that. You have to wait. Um, it usually takes like 24 hours. So I'm going to put this under the UV light and I'm gonna cure this metal part and then I'll see what I do about this one on the outside but it's gonna take a while so I'll be back and hopefully there's no bubbles hopefully there's nothing I'll see you in a little bit hey so I end up doing two coats of resin and I only did it right here where the flower is if you can see it and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply varathane just in the outside just to give it a little bit of shine and I'm using the varathane water base um, clister gloss and then you're going to need um, a brush and then you're just going to need a little bit and I will put everything on the description below everything that I use okay so I'm just going to play a little bit Because when you're using um, alcohol inks or chalk pastels, you have to seal your surface. And I'm gonna let this dry for about 30 minutes and probably put a second coat. And then I'll be back to show you. I'll probably um, seal the back too because I have some alcohol ink that I put in the back. So I'll just wait for this one to dry and then I'll be back to, um, to show you when it's done. See you in a little bit. Hey guys, so here's our pendant. It looks really, really pretty um, with the resin. And I glue a bell on the back. And I use the Jewelry E6000 um, glue. And then I'm going to use a chain for the cord. So we're going to pass it through here. And then you're going to need two jump rings, a lobster clasp, and a round nose plier. Then you're going to grab your jump ring, pass it through the lobster clasp, and then grab the end of the chain, pass it through there. If you see that. And then close it. Make sure it's closed and do the other one and then close it all right so that's done so i i hope this tutorial was helpful for you um this is a very easy project there's so many things you can do with this i mean you can use different stamps um uh, you can use maybe paints 
um, of course the alcohol links, uh, the check pastels. There are so many options out there um, that you can come up with. With the, you know, just play with the colors and see. Um, if you have any questions, write it in the comments below. Um, please subscribe to my channel so I can make more videos. It really helps me a lot um, to make more videos. I mean, you know, make sure that people are watching this. Um, uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And um, I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Thank you.